In the early morning hours on Missouri's surviving grasslands, the sounds of nature can be heard all around. But out of all the sounds you might hear, scattered across a symphony of sounds, you'll hear one that stands out from all the rest, the boom and cackle of the greater prairie chicken. This native species, whose population once numbered in the thousands, has been in decline since the mid-1900s, with fewer than 100 left in the wild. Researchers with the Missouri Department of Conservation are working here at Taborville Prairie to save this bird from statewide extinction. A videographer and biologist named Charles Schwartz did some of the best work on prairie chickens in the late 1940s. And at that time, he estimated there were 13 to 15,000 birds remaining in the state. And we've seen a constant decline since that point. Numbers are low enough now, we're not sure that we have a viable reproduce, reproducing population to maintain genetic diversity. Alligers says that the biggest problem the species is facing is habitat loss. Our best management of really great habitat here on our prairies, we don't have enough good grassland habitat. Uh, we end up with uh, little islands of really great habitat that are uh, located too far apart and greater prairie chickens need an expanse of open grasslands which our modern Missouri landscapes just really don't provide. To help maintain the habitat that the prairie chickens rely on, the Conservation Department uses practices like cattle grazing and controlled burning to create the type of landscape needed to attract the birds. It's important that we try to replicate the patterns of disturbance and recovery that, that existed on the prairie uh, really well prior to European settlement. Uh, when herds of bison or elk uh, followed fire across the landscape and grazed some patches intensively. Along with grazing and burning, biologists also work closely with private landowners to clear trees and help expand the prairie ecosystem. Wayne Morton started working with the Conservation Department in the early 2000s. With the help of federal grants, he has converted more than 1,000 acres of native grassland to help benefit the prairie chicken and other species. Land right behind us, you can tell, is uh, used to be a soybean field. Uh, we had this small patch of prairie, about six acres here on the north end and about 10 acres on the south end that were native prairie. And so the strip of land in between, we planted the native grass, and it's done very well. For Morton, the prairie chicken is an animal he has admired for years. Back in 1999, I had the largest booming ground in the state of Missouri, uh, just over about a quarter of a mile from here on my wheat field, 49 booming males. And they, uh, the ritual of booming is just amazing and just a real neat bird. He hopes with the help of other landowners, the prairie chicken will start to rebound. I'd like to see the uh, birds increase in numbers. We've still got a few birds here. We hope that they'll have better nesting success and if they would have better nesting success, they, we may still be able to hang on to a population here. It's a long, it's a long shot, but with the uh, Several of the farmers in this area are quite interested in seeing the prairie chickens come back. While the future of the prairie chicken is still up in the air, those working to help them have no plans to quit anytime soon. It's a tough time for prairie chickens right at the moment, but I would hate to think that we would use that as any kind of excuse to stop the intense management that we do. We're going to continue to do that work with our neighbors and on our public conservation areas to the best of our ability. To help keep Missouri's prairies unique and diverse for many years to come. Some people think of Rembrandt painting and some of those great paintings are wonderful things of art. We think that the prairie chickens, some of the prairie animals and plants are just as great a works as, if not better. To us, they're certainly uh, a charismatic species. We, we enjoy watching and hearing them and our grasslands will be a poorer place uh, if the day comes when they finally are gone.